it thread at youtube.com at right, folks we now take a look at the feature done on radio talk shows in jamaica by tvj's anthony miller and yvette row back in 2001 as we remember uh, wilmot perkins everybody's talking about talk radio for some the main source of news for many the high point of their day but chat shows are also about personalities and love them or hate them we like to listen <laughs> There's TV, there's print, then there's talk radio. A tower of Babel raising decibels of debate. Let me in now. Let me in now, man. Let me in. Jamaicans can't get enough chat. I'd rather listen to Mr. Gluden than anybody else right now. Well, I was a motive. You have different set of people call him, and when you know. What, we want to know what is going on in the political world. The airwaves crackle with Mutty, Ronnie and Barbara. RJR led the talk charge way back when. Now everybody's talking and some about the government walking. Sometimes people are lucky and you're able to choose between the good, the better and the best. There are other times when you're not so lucky and you have to choose between the bad, the worse and the worst. <laughs> right? But you... It is irresponsible not to choose. Anyone can say just about anything. After all, talk is cheap, but it pays. I would hope so, otherwise they wouldn't hire me. I could do it some more money, but um, it, yes, I think it does. As a, it is something. But there's another kind of payoff. Okay, I don't think that, uh, that, that being a politician necessarily, you leave your mind at the door and you leave your judgment. And I'm pleased that on this program, although my uh, political leanings are well known, uh, unlike others, um, uh, uh, on, and are obvious and are explicit that I, I can talk to, share ideas with, and accept points of view from anyone else. Who we have now? Hotline host Barbara Gluden is in the hot seat three days a week. Are you, as some of your critics say, pro-PNP, pro-government? I have discovered in my long life that any time you talk about things like um, nation building, thing, you're pro-PNP, which I think is, is doing a, dissatis a disfavor to the opposition. Is, is something which I think developed out of the 70s. If you talk about self-reliance, independence, it means you're pro-PNP, which is very sad. And I'm an unrepentant from my being in journalism, supporter of Jamaica, whoever is in power. We are either going to, hold on, sir. We are either, no, no, you don't tell me how to run this program. Thank you very much, good night. Thank you. Hotline is here to stay, but Mutty maddens more than most. I used to share the hotline program with Barbara Gludon. The switchboard would be flooded with calls. People saying, get that man off the air. Or we're going to not just stop listening to that program, we're going to stop listening to Radio Jamaica. And the, the um, you know, people in the hierarchy would come to me about it. And I would say, look here, if what you want is somebody to give people a shoulder to cry on, well, I suggested to them where they might go and whom they, they might get. Good morning, caller. No newcomer to the field of talk, Ronnie Thwaites is famous for milking metaphors. I haven't come to count cars, I've come to drink milk. And what I mean by that is that I'm, uh, that I'm interested in moving directly towards solutions, towards real action. Thwaites used to be in coffee, but when business went bad, the government came to the rescue. Did you benefit from government funds? Uh, the comp some of the companies that I was, con I was connected with uh, had their, their, their debts um, absorbed, not absorbed, but, but, but managed by a government agency. But in terms of the widespread, wide-scale relief of debt, unfortunately, that hasn't happened. I still bear a great deal of that. Others have lost, so have I, and we have to recover from that. Can you honestly say that you don't have an axe to grind against the PNP and against Edward Siaga? Look. What have I said that is not true? So you'll always say anything that's true, despite the consequences? Uh, I try to, yes. I try to. Whatever the consequences. Negative, positive, talk show hosts are often poles apart. Do you think Wilmot Perkins denigrates people? I don't listen to him. So I can't really tell you. Um, people carry me stories, but um, I, I hear he talks a lot about me. I can't imagine why. He tapes you and, and listens back. Doesn't he have his own program to run? Don't you tape him at no, all? Absolutely not. What country in the world of our size has the number of murders and killings generally that we have in this country? Right? What is there to be so positive about? 
I'm not interested in, in sus and nastiness about people. I think there's too much nastiness that lie. If we have an issue, let us deal with it. And I am not into the, into the sus. And if you say something about me, no matter, because I eat in my yard. Believe it or not, not everyone listens in. What is your favorite radio talk show? Texas Ranger. They've switched off, but not tuned out. The people them need some, a lot of money. They don't want to hear about the talk show. They need money, man, money. The country going down. Marty, Barbara, Ronnie. They're still talking. And for a couple of hours every day, we're hooked. Toll free, telling all, tuned in. Event six and peeps of talk radio. I think it's great. On with it. Don't bother calling. Email us. I'm Anthony Miller. And I'm Yvette Rowe. All right, that was way back in 2001. Um, and uh, they're not all still talking. Monty Perkins uh, passed on Friday morning at about uh, 1 o'clock. Um, and uh, Ronnie is no longer on the air because of he's now the Minister of Education. So only Barbara still stands on hotline on RGR. It's red at YouTube.com.